Okay, we agree. We're different. We have no ball or goal to put it in. We pass, but we don't hand off or punt, and we never call a timeout. We don't win unless we finish, and we don't always finish. This is no game, because we don't play, we race. Let's try to work some magic here at the Magic Mile. We did not do that last time. We finished very horribly. Um, I can't remember what happened, but we just did not have the car at all. So we had to pull. I, we, no, we did not pull last time, but we we're gonna try to get something much better this time. We got some better equipment this time. Well, well we will uh, after uh, a couple races, but uh, not not today. So uh, chassis one, engine three is a fr is pretty fresh in the uh, shop. I'm gonna use it. Body 2, pretty good. Car is 66, uh, I guess the body and chassis are pretty worn, so, you know, it's whatever. Let's just get to qualifying. That was a terrible three and four. Come on, get out the corner fast as you can. I don't want. Come on, come on. Ah, dude, that was close. I I almost threw it away in three and four there because I missed it badly. I really missed it badly there. <laughs> you got like less than three one hundred of a second. That was how close it was. Uh, I definitely need to adjust it a little bit just so I can get a little more speed out of it. I know I can get a little more speed out of it. And the front springs, I'm gonna make it. Lower a little more just to try to make it work. I can't make it too loose though, so I'm gonna leave the light as it is. Let's get to it. Joe Moore, Barney Hall, take it away. Welcome to New Hampshire International Speedway in Loudoun for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Sylvania 300. What can we expect to see today, Barney? This is a tough track for a lot of drivers. These long straights allow the cars to build up a lot of speed before some hard braking going into the flat corners. The 83 car has had a couple of incidents on the track with the 02 car. You know, a little contact now and then is to be expected. The track gets crowded real quickly when you put 43 cars out there. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Hermie Sandler really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. It just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. Ryan Newman will try to use this race to gain a couple spots in the points. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to this race. He feels they have a very strong car that can pick up some more points this week. We'll keep an eye on him. Ford. Row 13 
Pontiac and the target dodge. The 14th row has the Georgia Pacific Dodge and the Cheerios Dodge. From row 16 are the Nick Zero Pontiac and the Haviland Dodge. Row 17 has the Dr. Pepper Dodge and the Low Chevrolet. Starting in row 18 will be the One Car and the Bam Racing Dodge. In row 19 are the Granger Ford and the U.S. Army Pontiac. Try and find some magic today. It was this race last season that I got my first lap led, but uh, I beat Jeff Gordon for it, so it's like Deja Vu Road again. Over again, except I'm not gonna be able to hold the lead this time in the first lap, so that sucks. And I'm just dropping like a rock already. But I don't have a clue what to do here. I can't run it in there harder when it won't turn in the center. It just pisses it off the road. Oh my god, wow. Okay, I thought Crip. I didn't think Crip was gonna dive in that deep, but he did. Kenny Wallace and I are just gonna fall back like crazy. The question is who's gonna fall back further? Goodness gracious, it's gonna be a long day. Oh, okay, I'm I'm trying to race Rusty Wallace. Like what? This is not possible right now. It's not gonna happen anyway. I've got no speed in this car again, even though like I have a much better engine. I don't know how I scrape how I scrape the wall down the front. That's so stupid. Okay, Bobby, just ugh, I'm trying to finish that corner. If you're gonna if you can let me, that'd be nice. Ugh. There we go. That's much better. I can get to run off the corner, that's nice. I have no no straightaway speed though against these guys. It's absolutely horrible. I keep I keep the very bottom of the track. And I'm trying to You saw me use third gear a couple laps for a few laps, but I don't want to use it every lap, so that's my that's oh, okay, I not it's this car won't turn. What the hell? It's loose, but it doesn't want to turn still. I don't understand it. I, I thought lowering the front springs would help it out, and it's still like not going to turn. Wow, this thing doesn't turn at all. Oh, I'm about to knock Bobby into the wall there. I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, man, that was really bad. Yeah, we're not going after anyone. The car, we're just going to... We're gonna keep dropping back because we have no speed in this car. This track just sucks for me. I can't race this track. It's horrible. It's, it's just that bad. I can't race it. You have to put three wide in the bottom by uh... <laughs> My spotter thinks I actually passed him, but Warbird is still right behind me the whole damn time. It's so stupid. Oh god, there we go. You can't win a race if there's no car to finish with. I also can't race this track because I drove up right into Ryan Newman like an idiot because I can't and I just tried to get the run off the corner and just it wouldn't, wouldn't turn. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pit now and get four fresh tires. See what we can do after that.
starting in the back, so be careful and stay out of trouble. Yeah, I'm going to, no worries. I think if you like could see my like uh, fuel, like, or uh, not fuel, the uh, well, yeah, the fuel, you basically know that I'm trying to make a fuel mods race for myself at this point. Also, um, I don't know why the car doesn't turn. Like, I have had the setup where it's supposed to turn so good, like the handling is like almost near max, and it just doesn't turn whatever, whatsoever. So, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. So I just have to ride out and hope for the best here. Here we go, pit stop. So. I might be a lap or two short, we'll see, but I can't, I can't do anything else about it. Wow, I, yeah, I should be, but I just completely lost it in the middle of one and two there. Like, I was trying to, it looked like it was about to go sideways on me, so I had to correct it and overcorrect it, so I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Why did I hit the wall there? There's no need to. David Green, what the hell, dude? God, that was not. I mean, I'm trying. I am trying to make the corner, but like at the same time, like you're going so slow. Like I thought I was gonna pass you at some point. So that's that's so ridiculous. No wonder he was going so slow. He was first position. He hadn't pitted yet. What? What? The, what? Answer my question there, goodness gracious. I mean, he's getting blocked trying to get to pit road, he can't get there. The 41 car is looking to pass. There we go. Everyone else took their stops, we're in the lead now. Just 10 laps left. Comes down the field mileage, and whether or not I can hold a 10 second lead on the. Nope, I can't, because that's spin out, no! Oh my god. My whole strategy just got taken out the window there. I thought, and Dave Green actually stayed out the whole damn time. Oh, no. The bright side is I hope will be able to make them feel the bad. The bad thing is I've got the worst tires possible, so... I gotta stay out. I, I'm banking on it right now. David Green's got to be all about feelings right now. I don't know how he's leading. He's got to be pitting soon, right? But he, I don't think he's pitted yet. It's like, come on. There's no way I'm going to be able to battle these guys, though. That, that's that's the worst part. Junior's just going to take this win, and he's going to extend his points to unless Stuart gets, gets to him at the end. At least I'll have a good seat for that if I can keep up with these guys in the last five laps. That's how much more speed that, that Jared got off the corner compared to me. And I had like a big run off the corner, like I do here at Tenza. And then Tenza's just gonna take me down straight away like nothing. Or not, never mind. Ooh! Yeah, nice bump and run. Thanks, Kenza. Good job. Okay, Belly, where'd you come from, dude? If I can saw him maintain a top 10 or a top 13, that's fine with me. I don't want anything else. Than that at this point, because the way this race is going, I definitely need some luck on my side, and I mean, I found some with, with fuel strategy, but I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna mess it up. Hey, I can't, I can't pit at this point, so yeah, there goes the rest. There goes my top ten chance, but this for while lasted, right? I mean, oh crap! Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess 
possibly going to have to walk one of those, so I think I did. Okay. There are so many cars behind me trying to get past me for top 14 spots or top 10 spots, but I'm just holding up as best I can here. Now, it's maintaining the speed with Jeff Burton down the straight there, but my tires are just gone. No! Hang on. I guess the top 20 is good enough because I can't pass it right for crap. But we did make it on fuel, thank god. We made it last like 22, some 21 laps or whatever. And we're gonna come away with a 16th place finish. Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. You think? Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. Tony Stewart edged out Dale Jr. at the end. Nice job. Not very many caution laps in this one. Well, I can assure you, all those guys who finished in the back would like to have seen more cautions. Gives them a chance to make adjustments without the penalty of going a lap down. They just didn't have that luxury this time. We hope you enjoyed today's race as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long. We'll see you next week at the Dover International Speedway. Oh, man. Round and round the thing went. And, uh, you know what? Uh, it's all right. I... I can say that you know, we got a decent finish out, so that's all I can ask for. And we got every one of the sponsor objectives, and we're up to 937,000. We are trying to save up right now for next season, that's the answer. Going to 16 laps. Did I even lead a lap? I did. Alright, so at least the pole winner got a lap left, so that's alright. Let's get out of here. Alrighty then, so we no longer have a, a primary sponsor, so we have to go there and find out who wants us. Uh, package sponsor. Definitely not a package sponsor, that's for damn sure. Uh, so, what are our sponsors right now? So we have All Pro Waste Management. Oh, our team sponsor is gone too. Okay, so let's work on that first. Uh, Outback pays out the most, so I'm going to go with that. And as for the primary, it's either... Oh man, Outback pays a lot to finish 15 through better. But... I'm gonna play, yeah, I'm gonna play it safe and we'll go waste management again. Um, I know, like, they're not too happy because I haven't officially had to as much as I'd like to, but I think we're gonna be able to do that. We're gonna, we can, like, get a top 20 more often than not, so that's alright. Um, let's see, now we got some things to do in the shop. We're gonna overhaul this chassis for two races. That tire will, that tire grip will go up by three. Uh, let's see, this engine, can't, can't do anything like that. Can you overhaul this? I really could, I could have done that, but I didn't want to do it, so. We'll leave everything as there. Uh, the body, that body's got, hold on, we'll overhaul this for two races. About three or nine thousand miles, it's getting up there in money. Um, you know what, this, I, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna use this engine again for Dover and Talladega. So, in the meantime, I'll overhaul this for two races. I think, um, I think this engine can last, uh, for Calabaga too, so I think we'll be fine there. I can't wait for Calabaga, honestly. Like, we were, we were there, we got fourth place finish earlier this season, and I'm excited to see what we can do when we go back. I mean, what more, what, what more could I ask for? It was, <laughs> it was fantastic. We had a lot of crazy things happen in race, and we made it work. Uh, as for the points gains, Junior lost, like, probably five points on Stewart, really, and that's all it was. And, uh, where we go, where are we, we're 20th, okay, so I think we, I don't think we gained anything or lost anything in terms of, I count, uh, what we were in the point standings for that, so, that's alright, we got, uh, we got some time to move up a couple spots, we can catch Mayfield, but we can definitely catch Mayfield if we work hard enough, Michael Walter's probably out of reach though, 200, 200 plus points, 259 points, so, yeah, I think Sadler's pissed off at me, whatever. Uh, we did get the award for polls. How many polls do we have this season now? Eight. And that's more than anyone else in the field, so that's pretty crazy. Oh well. I guess, uh, Night Racing Dover is next time, and, uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one, and make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, notification for everything you see, and if you like it, uh, so you can 
find me and uh, know when anything new comes out, whether it's this or anything else or any other games that you might find. And uh, we'll have some fun with it. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.